Okay, me back here again and with part two of Metasploitable Vernable Machine. In, the, in part one, we explain how to root the Vernable Machine um, starting off from the board 80, which is the, this is the board of the web server. Now, in this part, I'm going to walk you through how to root the machine uh, starting off another ports like for example in this um, example or in this video we will see how we can root the machine um, using another method okay so here I scanned the vulnerable machine okay with nmap with this command and here I got the boards in part one of metasploit uh, in part one of the uh, walkthrough we uh, root the machine starting off the uh, HTTP protocol now we will root the machine only depending on our information that's that has been exposed by nmap about the samba server here as you can see it's running on uh, port 139 and 445 so after scanning the vulnerable machine with nmap and deciding on starting with uh, the samba servers i then from here, run any emulation for Linux to get uh, some kind of ideas about the uh, local shares, workgroups, domains of that are uh, existed or running on the Samba server. So, with this command, okay. No, I'm I'm, I'm I like to explain the uh, walkthrough, okay, this way because as you know, sometimes when you solve the vulnerable machine uh, live sometimes you uh, you don't have to wait uh, for me to finish some commands or to for the uh, command line to finish some uh, things okay so i like just to do the job or uh, doing the write up or the walkthrough then explain it to you without you having to wait so here's the command i used to enumerate the shares and work groups on the vulnerable machine and here you can see the output okay now i have as you can see here starting as ladder work groups and shares and selling that the uh, the current samba version and the os version and the interesting part is here which is an enumeration of the shares running on the or stored on the server as you can see we have multiple shares here print temp temp opt admin i managed to have access to those shares but unfortunately i didn't find anything interesting in those in those shares so i have decided let's skip this part and uh, for your own reference i used uh, smp client to interact with those shares Okay, you just specify the IP address, okay, and then it will ask you for the password. Fortunately, well, while doing enumeration for Linux, it told us that some shares can be accessed using blank passwords. Okay, so here, when it asked me about the password, I entered, I mean, uh, some kind of blank password, and I have been allowed to log in as anonymous login here and here I, I saw the shares okay and the server name then I tried with this command to access the admin shares but unfortunately I have no ad, uh, permissions to access that shares or enumerate what's listed on the share so tried another share and found nothing of interest after that I decided to launch Metasploit. Okay. So here, search for some of exploits or vulnerabilities. Then I tried using the exploit of is no pipe name, but unfortunately it didn't work. So I've decided to go on and use another exploit, which is user map script. So as you can see here, I have tried the first exploit. But unfortunately, it didn't work, as you can see here, failed to load the payload. Then I went on the other payload, which is 
multi sample user map script set up the parameters required options and be sure be sure when to load an exploit from metasploit be sure to show the compatible payloads don't use payloads just only metaperter payloads okay type show payloads and see the compatible payloads otherwise it's not gonna work or it doesn't work so here I set up the payload okay and type exploit and I have command shell access and fortunately the exploit managed not only to exploit the, the vulnerable machine but only to have root access on the vulnerable machine don't forget to launch the PTI the, the PTY to spawn the PTY in order to interact with the vulnerable machine and here is by issuing the command ID I got root access and that's it